Hey class, welcome to this module on data conversion. This is where we're going to start as we get into IPv4 addressing, subnet masks, seeder notations, uh, VLSM, finding host, finding subnets, all kind of fun stuff to come. But before we do that, we have to understand this basic concept here of decimal to binary. And binary to hex, I'm tossing that in because why not? Once we get to binary, it's a, it's a couple steps to get over to hex and then vice versa from hex back down. So figure let's knock it out. It might help you with CCNA-based information as uh, there's more hex in that than what we're doing here. But let's go ahead and uh, look at some characteristics of these numbering-based systems. And the numbers that we will be converting will be IPv4 addresses first off decimal based numbering what we're talking about here so decimal numbering is basically a 10 based numbering system and what that means is you're dealing with 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 that's your 10 base binary this is a two base numbering system a two base numbering system basically what you're dealing with there is zero or one uh, where does that come into play think about computers computers is moving data it's moving bits zeros and ones those are our bits this is either the presence of voltage or the absence of voltage. It could be the presence of light or absence of light. Or it depends on what our transmission media is. We could be talking about radio frequency here and frequency and signal. All right. But any rate, it is a two-base numbering system, and that's what we're dealing with. Now, when we get into hex, hex is a different animal. Very simple, but it's a different animal. Hex we're dealing with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. After we hit 9, we're dealing with A, B, C, D, E, F. So we are dealing with a 16 base numbering system. 0 through 9, that's 10 characters. And we also, when we get to that 11th character, it's A. 12th character is a B. 13th character is a C. 14th, 15th, all the way up to the 16th character. We're going to break those down in just a little bit and make some sense out of that, but for now, that's what we need to understand there. Now, the numbers we're going to be converting 192. 192 is composed of 8 bits or 1 byte of information. It is contained in the first octet of this IP address. And as you see this IPv4 address, you'll notice these decimals. They're decimal notated addresses. Here's what we're dealing with. 8 bits, another 8 bits in the second octet, another 8 bits in the third, another 8 bits in the fourth. 8, 16, 24, 32. IPv4 is 32-bit addresses. Now, when we look at these bits, 8 bits together equal 1 byte. If you took a byte of information, a bit pattern in it, and you understand these values that we have here running across the top, you would be able to then convert that bit pattern back into a decimal number. That's all we're doing. That's, all, that's how we're going to work this out. So here goes the first bit. Let's get started on this. So number one. get this pin going. Now I got a new Wacom tablet that I'm working with here and uh, we're gonna see how this works out. So bear with me if there's some some changes that I need to make and all. And I also have a, a sick daughter sitting beside me who's uh, she's my little sidekick and uh, she's over here practicing cutting paper and all. So um, if you hear a little noise in the background, that's what's going on there. But let's start this off. So we're dealing with 192 as our first decimal base number. When we're going to convert this number here, basically what we'll do is we're going to start here. We're going to work our way back this way into this bit pattern here. And we're going to come up with these values. Let's get that line a little thicker so we can see that better. 
as 192 moves in here basically it slides right down here and every time this number above it this value for this bit is less than the number we're dealing with we're going to enable it and then we're going to subtract that value we have a new number to work with as we keep working our way down the line so 192 we're going to cut this on because, because 128 is less than 192 subtract them out so we got one 192 minus the 128, the bit value we just enabled. We're going to end up with 64. We got 64 remaining. Check this out. Our very next bit right here, our very next bit happens to be 64. We're going to turn that guy on as well. That puts us at zero for that value. We have all the bits that we need. And at this point in time, we have our binary pattern. So for this first octet, 192, we're dealing with one. Let's grab a pin here, sorry. We're dealing with one, one, zero, 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 zero. Put a decimal. That's 192 easy enough let's look back over here at our second octet and let's knock this guy out we need to find the bit pattern to make 168 so again we're gonna start here and I'll work our way down the line let's enable this first bit it's less than 168 so 168 minus 128 leaves us 40 64 is more than 40. Do not cut that guy on. It would put us over. 32 is less than 40, though, so enable that. That leaves us 8. That's too high. That one's just right. Turn these guys off. We have found our second bit pattern here. 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. That gives us 168. All right. Let's get these out of here. We're going to look at our third bit pattern. This will be this one. We'll be able to knock this out pretty easy. Number one. Basically, this first bit, if that's on, we have the number one, everything else off. So I don't even know that we need to we need our graph for that one. We can just kind of run through this. That's what we're dealing with right there, folks. Let's get this third one now. On this fourth one, excuse me, this fourth octet. These last eight bits, this last byte of data. We need 48. This guy is off. This guy is off. This guy is going to be on. 32 is less than 48. Well, 32 plus 16, that is 48. So those are our two bits that are enabled there. Turn the rest of those off. That right there would be our bit pattern for 192, 168, 148, and that's what we're dealing with across the board. Okay? Again, 8 bits, 8 bits, 8 bits, 8 bits. This gives us a 32 bit address that we're dealing with up here. Now, what is that same binary pattern when we're looking at hex? Well, let's see how this converts. It converts pretty easy, actually. We look at this first one. So we're going to take the same bit pattern and we're going to dump it in here. Let's put it in here and I'll show you what we've done. Alright, so here's what we're working with when we get to hex. We have the same bit pattern in here, but you're going to notice this down here at the bottom. 4 bits equal 1 nibble. 4 bits equal 1 nibble. 4 and 4 is 8. So we have the same 8 bits. Same 8 bits. But instead of 1 byte of data, I'm talking about a nibble of data. So what do you do when you got a great big sub in front of you and you don't want to take a huge bite? You take a nibble. You take a smaller chunk of it. That's what we're doing here. This is a smaller chunk. We're taking that same data. We're making it two small chunks. 
Okay. We have to remember that we're dealing with 0 through F, which is a 16 base numbering system. How do we get 16? Well, if all of these are off, we have a 0, correct? If all of them are on, 8 plus 4 is 12, plus 2 is 14, plus 1 is 15, 0 through 15, or 0 through F, we have 16 base numbering system. 1 through 15, that's 15 characters, that 0 counts. That is a valid number, so that is in there as well, which makes the 16th value. Now all we do, once we understand that this nibble gets divided, uh, this byte gets divided into two nibbles, 1, 2, 4, 8, 1, 2, 4, 8, just as we started off here, 1, 2, 4, 8, but instead this guy continued. 16, 32, 64, 128. He continued doubling. Okay? This guy stops at 8 and then starts again. Why? Because 8, 4, 2, 1 is 15, or our max value that we need when it comes to hex. And let's convert this guy. This first block right here, that's a 0. They're all off. It's a 0. It's easy enough. Now, this block, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12. Now, if you remember correctly, 0 through 9 was our first 10 characters. Our 11th character is A. Our 12th character is B. So 8 and 4 is 12. So we're dealing with B. This becomes our hex value. That's our binary of 192. Decimal is obviously just 192. Hex is B0. Let's get these out of here. Let's get a little practice with this. Now looking at this guy, we had 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, followed by three more zeros. That was our byte right here. Took our byte, we'll break it into two nibbles. This first block, this first nibble, that's 8. 8's on, nothing else is on. The second block, 8, 9, 10. 10 is on. Well, 10's not a valid number, but 9 is our 10th possible value that we can have. Remember, 0 through 9. A, B, all the way up to F, okay? This guy right here, that's our 10th possible character. This is our 11th possible character. I know when you see 9, you're thinking 9. That's our 10th possible. So this guy right here becomes 9, 8. Now, how in the world will we see this? How are we going to see 9, 8 and understand that we're talking hex and we're not talking a decimal number? Well, this guy normally is led by a 0x then a number after where to tell you it's hex. Same deal here. We would see a 0x here. B0. Alright? So anytime we see 0x zero, zero in the front, we're dealing with hex. We're going to be able to figure this one out pretty easy. Let's lead off with our hex leader so we understand we're dealing with hex. And it's just 0, 1. Does that make sense? Look, if we divide this guy, and we went 8, 4, 2, 1. This is obviously 0. 8, 4, 2, 1. 1 is on. So I think we got that down. Now let's look at this guy here. We're going to go 0, 0, 1, 1. 0, 0, 0, 0. All right. 2 and 1. Those are our only bits on in this nibble. So we're going to turn a 3 there. Here, nothing is on. We're going to make that a 0, which means that we're going to have a 30. So what we've done, we've seen 192, 168, 148 as a 32-bit IPv4 address. We've now seen the 32 bits that make it. 
we see it again in decimal we also see the conversion over to hex pretty cool I'm sure that that you guys are, are probably walking through that and you want me to kind of speed up and get through this but I need to give you a challenge first need to make sure you got it if we're gonna skip it and keep moving forward let's make sure we got it so I'm gonna take a give you a value of C4 take C4 convert that to binary and then convert that binary to a decimal based number I'm gonna pause this video give you a moment to try to work through it and uh, I'll be right back or I'm tell you what you pause the video so hopefully you have uh, worked your way through this let's see if we have the right numbers or not so C4 what are we talking about here well let's take 4 we're gonna break 4 down into this area here right to get 4 we're gonna cut that guy on cutting that guy off that guy off that guy off now C is going to get a little trickier here. Now we know 9 was our 10th value, A was our 11th, B is our 12th, C is our 13th character. How do we get to 13? Well, 8, we got 5 more to go, 4, we got 1 more to go, turn 1 on, boom, there we go. We have binary. One one zero one zero one zero zero is binary for C4. Now we need a decimal number still. Let's find that. 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. So let's add them up. 128 plus 64 plus 16. plus four hopefully this is what you guys ended up with C4 is that bit pattern or 212 they all equal the same thing depending on how you look at it now what does this look like as a complete IP address let's take the example of 201 32 86 124. Well, if we broke all those guys down into binary bit patterns, that's what we would end up with. If you want, pause the video, confirm. Make sure that I, I my bit patterns are right down at the bottom, that I'm not doing something wrong there. But in reality, this is the 32 bits that it takes to make this one IPv4 address that we're looking at here. So what have we gone through? Well, we've talked about a 10 base numbering system, 0 through 9, our decimal system. We talked about binary, our 1s and zeros, our 2 base numbering system. We talked about hex, a 16 base numbering system, 0 through 9, A, B, C, D, E, F, 0 through F, 16 different characters. We have also taken those values, we've made our bit patterns, we've added them up, we've taken our binary made it hex by taking a byte of data 8 bits and converting it into two nibbles of data now something to keep in mind now we can always jump from decimal we can always go from decimal to binary and we can go from binary to hex we cannot go straight from hex over here to decimal or decimal to hex. Binary is always our middle ground that we're going to hit as we're doing this conversion piece here. Well, if you need practice with this, please work your way through it. Uh, try a few things out. See if you can come up with uh, some IPv4 addresses. I challenge you to take your computer, open your command prompt up, okay? Run ipconfig, or if you're using Linux, run ifconfig get an IP address get a subnet mask get a default gateway convert those guys to binary the subnet mask we're gonna get into those here in just a few minutes so we can actually see 
what's happening with those guys uh, when they're converted and how they build. So, again, this is James Graves. This was Data Conversion. I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves through this. I know I enjoyed it, and I will see you in our next video.